Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers Amazon exclusive Galactic Odyssey Botropolis Rescue Mission. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, there's really not much to look at. You've got Botropolis emblem right here. You can see some cityscape. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. Cybertronian writing there on the top. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. Side of the box, wraparound image. And there's a decal right there telling you what's in the box. Now, it's kind of disappointing that all these Galactic Odyssey boxes come in these plain cardboard Generation Selects boxes. Because the Amazon exclusives such as the Seekers or Ironhide and Prowl was in great looking boxes. These suck. But it's not about the box that matters. What matters is what's inside. And inside, we have some glorious repaints of Earthrise figures. We've got a repaint of Ironworks, a repaint of Airwave, who's now called Overair. We have a repaint of the Battle Squad and a repaint of the Astro Squad. Of course, I believe for this set, these four are called the Astro Squad altogether. We also have a repaint of Double Dealer's Rocket. So all of these figures have a space theme going on, kind of to coordinate with Skylinks. So now, without further ado, let's get these guys open out of this packaging and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get the Botropolis Rescue Mission set all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions, and this thing unfolds into one hell of a poster because this is the instructions for the entire set. So there is no way I can unfold this on camera. Just trust me, it's big, but it is well illustrated and really easy to follow. You also get this Botropolis rescue mission card you've got the map right there and on the back there is the story of the botropolis rescue so you've got that going on you also have a botropolis recolor of ironworks a recolor of airwave as botropolis over air which is a weird name you get the astro squad consisting of missile master moon rock Blastmaster and Fuser, which are repaints of the Earthrise Astro Squad and the Siege Battle Squad. You also get a little missile that goes with Missile Master, Ironworks Weapons, Overair's Weapon, I forgot his name for a second, and a recolor of Double Dealer's Rocket that can actually separate into the blaster and missile sections. You can actually attach these onto the bigger robots if you want for extra weaponry. Let me see, can I give him a 
fusion cannon there. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the individual figures themselves. Now the first figures we'll take a look at is Moonrock and Missile Master. These two are a repaint of the Siege Battle Squad, Direct Hit and Power Punch. Taking a quick look at Moonrock first. Lots of great molded detail on the guy. I love the detail that they can put on these small Micro Masters. I can't tell about the face sculpt because that's a lot of blue paint thrown in there. <laughs> but... Still, doesn't look bad. Great paint applications all the way around. Now, taking a look at Missile Master here, this is the only one of the entire set that gets a remold, and that is right here on the back. Instead of a big cannon like uh, Power Punch had, he has this missile platform. So you can take this missile right here. It's got a little hole there that'll match up to this peg. And, of course, this is mainly used for vehicle mode, so he's a missile transport. Now to display the missile or to hold the missile in robot mode, you have to flip the missile upside down and use the top fin to peg into this hole right there on the top. So he's got that look going on. Lots of great detail as well. Another face sculpt that's pretty well hidden by a lot of blue paint. Uh, paint applications there on the shins and that's about it. I like the little blue detailing there on the chest. So now we will compare Moon Rock and Missile Master with Direct Hit and Power Punch. Or I'm, I may have those names backward. I know, I know you'll let me know in the comments, but right here, there's the big difference. Missile Master has the Missile Launcher, where Direct Hit or Power Punch has the Cannon. So that's about the only remold you get with this set. So there you go, guys. Moonrock and Missile Master in robot mode. In vehicle mode, Moonrock and Missile Master look really good. I like the red coloring for this missile transport. It's got white windows right there, some silver decals along the sides, and silver decals on the back. And to compare, here they are with the Battle Squad of Power Punch and Direct Hit. The only remold of this entire set right here is this missile launcher. This can raise up and down. The battle squad, they just have this big artillery cannon. And as I showed earlier, the missile can detach and you can launch it to wherever it needs to go. Now the missile is also blast effect compatible. So I have an Omega Supreme blast effect right here. So you got this missile taking off to do whatever damage needs to be done. And I tell you what, that thing has just expelled all of its fuel on that launch. So there you go, guys. There is the Astro Squad Moonrock and Missile Master in vehicle mode. Next up, we have Fuser and Blastmaster. Repaints of the Fuser and Blastmaster that was released earlier with the Earthrise line. Taking a quick look at Fuser first. Lots of great details. Pretty good face sculpt. Love the silver right there on the chest. And he's got black pistols molded into his hands. I really think that's cool. And see, so he's got red feet right there and some red detailing there on the legs, along with some red details there on the stomach. Taking a quick look at Blastmaster here. Blastmaster really doesn't have the details that Fuser does, but still not a bad looking figure. Now, he, in my opinion, is the weaker of the two because his back section is so hollow. Sometimes it can be real hard to stand him up. He is a lot easier to stand than the original Fuser. He, he's a pain. I don't know if it was because his leg joints were a little tight, but I always had issues getting him to stand up, as you can see right there. So I might just have to hold him. But there you have the original Blastmaster and the original Fuser with their new Botropolis counterparts. So there you go, guys. Fuser and Blastmaster in robot mode. In space shuttle mode, Fuser and Blastmaster don't look bad at all. It's kind of different seeing a space shuttle with the red and white look opposed to the black and white look that 
is normally seen with a space shuttle. Though I do wish the front portion right here where this was black, that this was the same color. So it went all the way around and was a little bit more cohesive. Also got some nice yellow windows there in the cockpit and Autobot logos there on the wings. The first edition of Fuser and Blastmaster did not have the Autobot logos, yet they had NASA there on the side. I really like that. And boy, you can tell the color difference between the off-white and the bright white of the original set. And I just, I like the standard black and white a little bit more. So there is a comparison of the two. Now, we'll bring in the rocket. The rocket is what's used with Fuser and Blastmaster in shuttle mode. You have this little peg right here. You're going to flip this out. Now, there's actually two pegs. There's one here at the bottom and one on top, but you're only going to use one. Even though you see two peg holes here on the rocket, it will not work with both pegs. So you want to use the lower one here, you peg that in, and now you have the shuttle on the rocket. I wish both pegs would attach. It would have made that a lot more secure because he does kind of flop around, but <laughs> it is what it is, and it works out a lot more in the base mode than just messing around with it like this. So there you go, guys. There is Fuser and Blastmaster with the rocket. And here we have Botropolis Ironworks. This is the third use of the Ironworks mold. You had the original Ironworks, you had Grease Pit, and now you have this Ironworks. I wish they named him something else to make him a different character, but oh well. Robot mode looks pretty good. I like the blue visor. That really pops on the figure. You got the light gray here on the chest, the hazard striping there across the chest as well. These details that I'm going to go over more in base mode. Autobot logo there on the shoulder. Great paint applications there on the arms. And really, that's about it. So let's compare Botropolis Ironworks with the regular Earthrise version. Now, my Earthrise version has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, but you still get the gist of the two together. So great collar scheme that really separates the two. I just really wish they gave him a different name. I'm sure they could have come up with something spaceish to give the guy. So there you go, guys. There is Botropolis Ironworks. In base mode, the new Botropolis Ironworks really impressed me with his paint applications. When I first saw images of this figure, I thought these right here were decals. They're in fact tampographs or paint applications that look really, really good. You've got dials and control panels, switches and vents, hazard striping right here, good paint applications right there, and along the tower with the pistons. I love the looks of that. It looks really, really good. The rest of the base, though, is quite plain looking. And here, let's compare the Botropolis Ironworks with the regular Earthrise Ironworks. And as I said earlier, mine has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. So <laughs> that aside, you can really see the major differences that the repaint has done for this figure. I just wish they gave him a different name instead of Ironworks once again. So there we have Ironworks in base mode. In robot mode, Over Air looks really good. He is a much better repaint of Airwave than what Airwave was. I love the gold details right here on the chest with that red outline. That's really cool. Close up on the face, he's got a gold face with blue eyes. He's got some red detailing right there on the thighs. And of course, you got the yellow striping and hazard striping there on the feet. The big gold weapon looks really cool. And let's see, you got Autobot logo here on the side with some more yellow stripes. This guy looks great. I just love that color scheme and the fact he's a new character instead of just a, another Ironworks. So here is Over Air compared to Airwave. And as you can see, the colors just pop way more on Over Air than Airwave. I'm going to get those names mixed up. And of course, you got the same Tampergraft logos there on the side. I like the fact I now have an 
Autobot version of this guy because I skipped out on the Hothouse version because really I'm not a fan of this mold, but I do like the color schemes of Over Air. So there you go, guys. Over Air in robot mode. Over Air's base mode looks way better than Air Raids due to all the new multiple paint applications. I love the blue paint right there indicating windows, not to mention the hazard striping and the runway decals. I mean, he looks really, really good in this mode. He still has the same problem that Airwave did because this just will not lay flat. And that was one thing that really annoyed me with the Airwave figure. So now let's compare over air with airwave so you can get a better idea of how they look together. As you can see, a lot better paint applications on over air than airwave. I just, the blue paint right there really makes all the difference. I'm really hoping that Toy Hacks will come up with something to help out this guy's base mode. Not to mention, this one just looks so much more plain than over air. And of course, you can combine over air with ironworks here. And according to the instructions, you connect right here, like so. So you've got like a little shuttle base. And now you take the shuttle with the rocket, flip up this little yellow section right here, which reveals a peg. So now you peg that hole right there. I have to zoom out a little bit. And then, of course, bring these guys in for patrol, and they can have their rocket all armed and ready, and adjust that to where it's straight. I really wish that the, both of his pegs would have pegged into that rocket to secure that a little bit better. But there we go. That looks really, really good. But wait, there's more. Now, of course, the main draw for this set is so you can combine all of them with Earthrise Skylinks to form what I like to call Skylinks Command. You have Over Air right here on this side and Ironworks right here. You've got the Astro Squad patrolling here on the front and positioned there on the rocket. Now, if you happen to have the first edition of the Astro Squad that came out, you can attach this one right here to Skylinks himself. And now you really have a Skylink's command with multiple shuttles to go off in multiple missions across the universe. So as you can see, there is a lot of playability with this set. So, does the Transformers Amazon exclusive Galactic Odyssey Botropolis Rescue Mission set belong in your collection? Well, this one's kind of hard to say because all of these figures are just repaints of figures we've got before. Though there are a couple new characters, but still, a repaint's a repaint. But this set is so cool for the base mode, and I think that's what everyone's going to get this set for, either the base mode that they can combine together to the Space Shuttle launch pad, or to create Skylink's Command. I love the color scheme on these figures, and I think if that's your cup of tea and if you're a huge fan of space exploration or nasa this set is a must have now guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when i upload new reviews once again this is patriot prime signing out Hoo -ah!